Hello people, my name is Mark. Welcome to my channel. And this video is about installing windows in this cargo trailer. So I jigsawed the plywood out of the way, the OSB plywood, and then drilled a series of holes inside and through the aluminum on the outside. And I'll go draw that out and put some tape on there to protect the uh, painted surface and all that. Holes inside the trailer. Well, fits. It did land on a couple of these screws. I'm gonna have to relocate those, I think. After quite a few minutes of fussing and fighting with this thing, I have the trim ring that fits inside nice and tight to the plywood, and I have the outside cut in so that it fits the window fairly nice and tight as well. So the last thing to do is, is to uh, install some screws through the trim ring. But before I do that, I'm going to remove... There's a couple exterior screws I'm going to remove and, and put those in different locations. And I want to put a block of wood up here and down here to... Uh, firm up the perimeter of the window. I think that'll make the job a little bit better. All right, this is where we're at. Got a block at the top, a block on the side, 
and a block on the bottom. And there was two holes on the outside. Let me see if I can get that. Here and here. And I put a little bit of Sika Flex on there. You can just see the back side of them right there and there. Put Sika Flex on there to seal it up. I'm gonna let that dry for an hour or two before I put the window in because right where that Sika Flex is is where the uh, the foam seal of the window goes. I'd like that to be at least not gooey. Looking good. It's a real nice fit.
right, it is in and functioning. The other one's in, doing what it needs to do. Very nice. And uh, once again, we're just using the foam seal around the perimeter of the window as a weather seal. We'll keep an eye on that to, to see if it ever leaks. I mean, it's a good foam seal. It seems like it, as long as the window stays tight, it should be pretty good, but we will see. This fan is in. Now I did have an issue with it. I was using it last night. I was in here and uh, it started squeaking. And uh, I just had it on like pretty much the second setting or one of the very lowest settings. And uh, so it started squeaking a whole lot and it was quite annoying and I got up and shut it off. And uh, this morning I was uh, surfing the internet about squeaky Max fans and evidently it's an issue. Uh, so one of the uh, suggested solutions is to run it on its maximum setting or at, at or near maximum settings for uh, 24 hours. So I've been running it. I turned it off so I could film. It's kind of loud when it's going fast, but let's hope it doesn't, let's hope it's not a squeaker. I don't want a squeaker. All right. That's it for the windows. This is what the trailer looks like with the door closed nowadays. We've got the fan, We've got the, the vent completely open, letting in the maximum light. And uh, there's a ton of air just coming in through the window and this window too. I mean, you can really feel it blowing in. It's a nice breeze. I mean, this is gonna be great. As I stand here and work on with my machine, if it's uh, hot outside, I could close the door and turn on the fan to its maximum, creating a, a, a fan that blows on me right here from the window. It's kind of nice because it comes this direction, you know. They're good for peeping too.